Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I just got done filming my jeans haul, so if you're interested in seeing that, I will um, put the link below so you can watch that. But I thought what I would do, um, since I'm kind of already set up to film, is go ahead and film the rest of the clothing haul, the non-jean haul. Um, and again, this is stuff that's been accumulated over months, like at least four months, if not more. Um, so please don't think I bought all of this stuff at once. And then if you've ever watched any of my hauls before, you know that I am totally a bargain hunter. So um, all of these things were at a minimum, like 50% off. Um, I don't know why I'm out of breath. <sighs> okay. Um, so I'm just going to go through and show you everything. Again, no particular order. A lot of it, I'll let you know if I can remember where I got it from. Um, but a lot of it was either TJ Maxx, Saks Off Fifth, or Nordstrom Rack because, again, I love a deal. So I can't remember the last time I've ever really paid full price for something. Like even at Target, I won't buy full price stuff. Um, anyways, enough chit chat. So I'm just going to keep going and then I have some shoes at the end and then... So this is going to be like the clothing series. Um, I already did the jean series, and then I'll probably do makeup, skincare, and then, um, I don't know, you guys let me know. I am, this week, well, depends on when this goes up, on Wednesday in a couple days from now, I'm going to get my lips done. I'm getting Juvederm in my lips, and then Dye Sport, which gives me um, a little bit of an eyebrow lift because of my hooded eyes. So if you guys want a video on that, um, let me know. And I will do that. Okay, so I'm just going to get started. Um, the first thing I got from Saks Off Fifth, and I mentioned... Oh, just a second. Everything's falling. So I literally just had a fight with all of these hangers and lost. So I'm just going to get started um, eh, before everything falls. So I will say, um, if you watched my last video, I talked about this, but Saks Off Fifth has um, a deal now and they do this I think always on the weekend so they used to I have a love-hate relationship with their sales they used to say like 50 or 60 percent off of their clearance and that was the deal now it's buy one get two free which if you can find three things of like equal value then that's great but sometimes I'll find one or two things and then struggle to find a third and I feel like I'm buying it just to get the clearance and then so I find myself spending more time in there because um, it just takes longer but when you do find three things, you get stuff really cheap. So all the stuff I got from Saks, and I'll tell you when I got it from there, Saks Off Fifth, the outlet, um, I got it for really cheap. So I'm just going to get started. Um, first thing I got was this jacket. This is actually from Nordstrom Rack. It's by Free People. It's, it's not cropped as in like, but it sits right at the waist. I don't know how I feel about it, to be honest. Um, it's an extra small. It fits a little bit baggy on purpose. It's cute with the studs. I just wish it was a little bit longer. Um, oh, see my struggle? I don't even... Okay, we're done with that one. Ugh. Okay. Anyways, moving on, because I told you I am not winning this battle. Um, this is a top from Splendid. I got this one at Saks Off Fifth. So this is just an example. It was 72 on clearance for 45 and then it was probably, it was definitely included in my buy two, get one free. So it's just like a loose fitting, really thin, flowy tank top that's like camouflage. You can see like through the window, like you have to wear something under it, but with jeans in the summer and like silvery mirrored shoes, I think it's going to be super cute. Uh, so I got that. This next one is a dress where I was iffy about it until I tried it on. And this is from Saks. It's by, it's called PJK, which is Patterson J. Kincaid. It's a small. I was trying to see if it's called anything. The Mason High Low Dress. It says compare it to 28, marked down to 85. Um, and I want to say it was 40% off of that. So this is what it looks like. It's like a silkier, like... Silky dress, shift dress, I guess. It's called high low. You can see like the little bottom part. Like that black is the back. It ends at the blue in the front. The pattern is like funky. Like I don't know, what is that? Like an ocean with an island in the background. But the way it fits, it looks super cute on. I got it in a small. Um, I can't wait to wear it because 
it's just new and different. Um, so I really like that. And then I got, I've always wanted like a Wild Fox sweatshirt or t-shirt because I heard that they're super comfortable. Um, but I cannot pay, I don't even know how much they are regular price, but even at Saks Off Fifth on sale, they're still like 80 bucks. I can't do it. Not for a sweatshirt. I can't. But I did get a t-shirt that I thought, a tank top. The way it fits, it's it's long enough to be a dress, which when you see it, it's you totally could never wear it as a dress. I can either sleep in it or wear it as a bathing suit cover-up. But I thought it was super cute. Um, it's just got little lipstick kisses all over it. It's really long. If anything, I think literally it's going to be something to sleep in in the summer. But it was so cheap or probably got it for free with that deal. Um, so I couldn't pass it up. Yeah, it says $30. So, like that and the um, Splendid Top, the camouflage one, were free because of something else I bought. Okay, so switching gears back to Nordstrom Rack, I got two t-shirts by Social, what is it called? Project Social Tea. Um, and I originally was looking for something to work out in, and then, these are too cute to work out in. Um, but they'd be really cute with, like, just tucked into some jeans, like if you just tuck in the one side and some heels. So this one says take me to Paris, um, which I thought was super cute. Like the company that I used to work for, they're headquartered in Paris. I worked at the U.S. subsidiary, but um, I don't know. So I love anything Paris because a lot of my friends <laughs> that I worked with um, are from Paris. So I always said I want to go there and visit them. Um, so I love that shirt. And then this one, it just says love, love. And they're so soft and like, oh, um, the way they fit is amazing and this would be cute with so many things like jeans, black pants, leather pants, liquid leggings. Um, it's long enough. It's a small, but it's really long. Not really long, but you know what I mean. Covers your butt. Even cute under blazers, which, oh, I bought a blazer. I might go grab it to show you or I might just wait for another time. Um, but anyways, that's super cute. And then I got this shirt from J. Crew which has fuzzies all over it. This is called, I remember it's called their mixed media shirt. It's all black, but like this is satin. This is like a sheer chiffon. This is cotton um, and it's rounded at the bottom. So it's super cute. Um, again, I got this on, on like crazy sale and I'm a sucker right now for any tops that are rounded at the bottom. I think they're really flattering, especially when you're wearing like leather leggings or um, any type of like dress pants that are tight. I think even skinny jeans too. Anything rounded at the bottom I think is super flattering. So um, I got that. This again is from Saks Off Fifth. It's by French Connection. It's a tank top. It's cottony in the back. You can see it's a little bit see-through and then like I don't know what this material is but like a chiffon almost in the front. It's peplum but like at an angle. So super cute the way it fits. Love that. That'd be really cute under some blazers. And then I got a coat. And this coat, um, I love, love, love this coat. I just wish I could change one thing about it. I'll show it to you. It's um, I haven't I've worn it one time, but really like it's too cold to wear it. This is more of a spring coat. But this is um, what it looks like. It's by Rebecca Minkoff, and you can actually zip it up. It's a trench, it's got a tie, um, and it has extra zippers. Super cute, love the leather like motorcycle look. Like It's more than just leather, it's got all of this detailing on it. Zippers on the arms, super love it. I just wish the green part wasn't like that stiff material. Like, can you hear it? I don't know, and if you can tell, it wrinkles pretty easy. So this is the back. I absolutely love this coat. I got it at TJ Maxx. Um, I don't, if I can find the name of it, I'll put it below if you guys can still find it online. But it was like originally $700. I got it, um, it was marked down to clearance at TJ Maxx for $200. And then I actually had like a $75 um, gift card. So <laughs> technically got it for $25. Can't beat that. Um, this next jacket is from Nordstrom Rack. This is by, ah, hair in my mouth, Blank Noir. It's like an olive green peplum coat. And it's super cute on. Um, again, doesn't really keep me warm right now because we're in winter, but I love the detailing. So it's like, um, 
I don't know, is it felt? Is that the right term? I don't know. I feel like that's more of a craft material. Anyways, that's what it feels like. And then right here is like a soft, on the back of the sleeve, like a soft cotton. And then this is what the back looks like. It's super cute on. They also had it in black, but I have so many black coats and stuff. I figured I would get that one and it's pretty neutral. And then, um, because it's been so cold and like miserable in the Midwest with all the snow we're getting, I wanted to get like sweaters that I can wear with leggings. Um, and I saw this sweater and I was kind of like iffy about it a little bit until I turned around and saw the back and then I had to have it. So this is the front of the sweater. It's like a crocheted blush color with lace at the bottom. Super cute with leggings. And then you turn it around and it's got the buttons. And even when you wear it, like it kind of like separates a little bit and looks super cute. Um, so it's just like a baggy sweater. It's really comfortable. Love the lace at the bottom. It's just that added detail. I actually wore it with like a super long beaded and like knotted up um, pearl necklace and it was really cute. I got a lot of compliments on it at work. So love that. Um, another thing I got from Saks Off Fifth was this top. This is by the brand Willow and Clay. Again, this is another one where I was kind of like, eh, it's plaid, like button down tank top, cute. But then you turn it around and it's got blue lace. So I thought that was super cute with jeans. Um, so that sold it for me. So got that. And then this is um, by, the brand is called Gray. I think it's a Saks Off Fifth brand. Um, but it's a sweatshirt, and it looks really cool on because of the pattern, and it's actually in some parts, like like the dark gray is actually a little bit see-through. I don't know if you can tell, but um, I don't know. With jeans, it's just super cute, and I figured I'd wear it with jeans or black pants, like leather leggings and heels. And then... As I told you, I was looking for um, sweaters to wear with leggings, and I saw this one and thought it was perfect. It's by Free People, and it's this blush pink color. So it has a couple things that I like. One, the blush pink color. Two, it's a long sweater you can wear with leggings, but it's kind of like that comfortable, I don't know, like I just wanted, I, I could picture wearing this on a super cold day, like it just looks amazing. Um, but it's rounded at the bottom, and not, it really, comes up pretty high, but how cute is this? So each side they have the zipper and it's got like a lace pattern in the front you can see that so I really love this can't wait to wear that with boots and leggings okay the next shirt um, or sweater I debated about it and I told the girl when she was ringing me up because she commented on it and I was like I either really love it or really hate it so I'm curious what you guys think I would wear it with um, skinny jeans and heels in the springtime and it's cute on but it's also oh, I'll just show you <laughs> so it's a floral um, sweater and I don't know if you can see closely you can see close up it's quilted with little small squares but it's a floral pattern the arms are like this mesh see-through gray and white they're really long arms too so they kind of bunch up at the bottom I don't know. I either really love it or really hate it. It's by a brand called Wells Grace. I don't know, I've never heard of it. But I thought it was like totally springtime and I thought I could wear this with dark jeans and the um, like aluminum silver mirror-y looking um, pointy toed heels. Okay, the last two things I got are exactly the same, just different colors. At Nordstrom Rack, they had a whole um, rack of these, and they were two for $29. And they're just regular sweaters. They're kind of short and baggy at the bottom, like wide at the bottom, but they're rounded. So I thought they're cute, again, with leather um, pants. that I have leather leggings and then also leather pants, not real leather, but leather pants that button up, and I thought these would be super cute for that. So I got it in the dark gray. And then I got it just in black. Um, and they're really soft and warm. So I love those. 
so I realized that I totally forgot to show you my shoes, so I thought, um, since I need to show you those, that I went ahead and got a blazer and the other shirt that I forgot to show you. So real quick, um, before I show you the shoes, this is the blazer. It's from Forever 21. Wait, let me put all this stuff down. Um, it's from Forever 21. I got it just recently, like maybe last weekend. It's a blush pink color. Totally think it'd be cute for spring. I love how it comes to like like a slanted point here. Um, but yeah, I bought this to wear over the black and white shirt that I showed you that just said love and it was like kind of baggy. I think that with black jeans or skinnies would be super cute. So that's the blazer. This is the back of it. It was like $27.90, so you can't beat that, especially. Um, I do wear jeans to work, but we have one day, Mondays is dress up day. So I thought that would be super cute. And then, put that right there. <laughs> Ignore that ugly mess. Okay, this other shirt I got from Nordstrom Rack is by the brand Row and D. Um, it was $20, and then I'm sure a percentage off of that. But again, just like kind of spring, flowy. I like the way it fit. Um, I don't really have anything this color, and it's showing up a little bit more blue, but it's kind of like a minty green. Um, anyways, that was super cute. And the back just has these little buttons right there, which I love. But these little ankle booties are by Chinese Laundry. I've already worn them, so I try not to touch the bottoms. I don't know, I'm a germaphobe. But this is what they look like. Um, they've got the two straps right here, and then this like strap is attached to it. So three buckles, two straps. When they're on your feet, like they look so cute. Especially if you have like little cropped or um, you roll up your skinny jeans, and they're really comfortable. So I got those from DSW, and they were on clearance. I got these from Nordstrom Rack. These are by Sam Edelman. And they're so comfortable. They are, what is that? Print. Why can't I think of it? I don't know. But they're not the typical like leopard whatever. They're like green, a brown, and black. So that's what they look like. They're super cute. have not worn those yet. Um, obviously because we have like, I don't know, four inches of snow. It's crazy. Um, and then I got this pair of shoes where I don't know where I'm gonna wear these, even if I wear them with like a blazer, a graphic tee and jeans, I don't know. But they were like probably 10 or $11 after all the clearance um, from DSW. They're by the brand Moda. And they're called something pecan. Oh, bronze pecan is the color and the style is Zach. So the back, strappy. This goes around and you can see it's like a taupey goldish silver. It'll go with anything. Plus the majority of the shoe is nude so I totally had to have these. So yeah that's it. Now I'm done. Okay. <laughs> Alright guys. Um, thanks again for watching. Sorry it's so long. If you have any questions about anything let me know and if you have any more requests for videos just let me know that too. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.